Hello everyone, my name is Rick and it is January 2nd, so Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, last week I didn't upload a video, I was um, really busy and I didn't have a chance to get back here in the garden, so I apologize for that. So today I'm just going to give you an update in the garden and I'm going to, I picked up a few plants from the greenhouse that I'm going to show you. So there's not much going on, but there's a lot of promise for a lot of uh, blooms in the next couple weeks so I'll show you that and so let's go let me show you um, from a couple of videos ago this dendrobium is uh, really blooming nicely and it has two spikes and this is dendrobium fire wings and it's really a beauty and the flowers just last a long long time on that which is nice And um, another Hoya that's showing promise for blooms is my, you've seen it many times, is the EPC 1015. And uh, it gets about four hours of sun. So it's pretty, uh, it's out here all year long. So it gets four hours in the summer as well. Uh, so it's pretty stressed out, but it does pretty well considering. And it blooms constantly. So here we go. So we got some nice umbels uh, so there's three yeah so there's three umbels coming that should be open in about a week or so uh, I wanted to show you this little guy I got it as a mini viola and I thought it was just you know uh, hoya uh, leaves size is variable and I thought it was just uh, you know this person had you know, uh, viola that had small leaves and then they're eventually going to get big, but it actually, these actually haven't gotten big. They stay, you know, small, about a quarter of Hoya viola, um, uh, the, the regular Hoya viola that's out in the trade. And it's a lot bushier, which I kind of like that in the Hoya. And, uh, it hasn't bloomed for me, so I'm looking out for that. See how it compares to uh, the regular viola. And there's a couple of things out here going on. More buds on this is cutest porcelana. And here's cutest porcelana again, more advanced buds. And Ben Vergari is going to bloom so yeah there's not much blooming right now but i could see in the next couple of weeks as the days become longer these will um you know be a lot showier i don't know if you can see out there that's my dendrobium um barana twist it's not as showy as i had it um couple a year ago if you go back to one of my videos it had the spikes were longer and uh, they appeared healthier but I'll take that uh, I think the problem was uh, it does not have a lot of media it's outgrown its pot quite a bit and I didn't uh, water as often as I should have so and I wanted to show you this is Hoya campforifolia and uh, as you can see, it gets really nice suntan, especially in winter when it gets cold. That being said, this winter has been, this December has been probably the warmest December in this garden uh, I've seen in 15 years I've been here. So um, these are not as red as they should be. Maybe um, the cold spell that we're gonna get um, coming through on Monday will darken these these really beautiful leaves um, yes yeah, so like I said it's a little bit of a disappointment today because there's not much blooming but a lot of buds and uh, you can see the occultata again um, blooming and more umbels so for every set of leaves it puts out an umbel 
and then when the umbo is done blooming it really drops so there's um, it won't rebloom I've never seen it uh, rebloom but uh, it just puts out another umbo so I can't I think there's a other a few other Hoyas that do that but um, this is one of them and Swiffer's around here somewhere hey Swiffer so yeah let me just go around the backyard a little bit and show you what's going on <clears throat> and then I'll show you the plants I pulled from the greenhouse to show you out here there is uh, this catlea she's a little these flowers are getting a little bit older on this side but these over here just opened see at one point I had uh, 12 blooms on this orchid uh, it's a really unusual scent it smells like you know the fresh clean linens uh, so it's a light uh, lavender scent to it and it's it's really I like the gorgeous colors the light pink against that rich yellow so it's really beautiful so what else is happening on the wall here uh, let me show you Palmer's apricot is opening up and uh, the green bird is on its way out but these flowers lasted over a month so let's go back here my Jose Bueno is doing pretty well it's really really big leaves in the summer it puts out larger leaves uh, in the winter the leaves are a little smaller hey Swiffer you want to be in a video stop following me so over here I have another I thought I had a, this is Illigorium and I had flowers coming but th th uh, they must have blasted but this is the new leaf on the uh, Jose Bueno so they tend to be a little smaller in the winter and when the humidity goes up in the summer those leaves get quite big so yeah that's about it for what's going on in the garden and uh, let me pull out some of the Hoyas that I um, selected for you from the greenhouse and I'll show you those in a little bit but I wanted to show you my star fruit tree is covered in star fruits and when you're out here see if you can see them uh, when you're out here sometimes I'm sitting over there reading and I get hit in the head with a star fruit because it is literally covered in them So yeah, it's nice to have, but you can only eat so many star fruits. So I find myself giving them away. I put them in a bucket up front in the house and people usually just come by and uh, get them. So sit back and let me go in the greenhouse and pick out the Hoyas I have for you. And the first Hoya I pulled out today is Hoya Kaolang. I really don't know anything about this Hoya. I got it in a trade from Hawaii I would say about a year and a half ago uh, and it has nice splashy leaves and it is really really easy to grow uh, it can tolerate a lot of neglect and uh, don't know what the flowers look like so um, if anyone knows anything about this Hoya please uh, let me know below Hoya Kalang and this plant here I bought it at one of the Krollsmith shows as a seedling and the vendor was Sunset Valley orchids um, so as a seedling you don't expect it to bloom for a year or two after you get it so I was pleasantly surprised when I walked into the greenhouse yesterday and saw this uh, really nice spike I don't know if uh, any of these 
any of these seedlings have bloomed from uh, this cross, but it could be a possibility that I'm one of the first to see what this uh, orchid is going to look like. So I'm going to keep you guys updated in future videos so you can see yourself. So I'm really excited about this orchid. And the next Hoya here is Hoya quinquinervia. It's five, uh, the name implies that it has five uh, main veins on the leaf. And one thing about this Hoya is for those sun stressors out there, uh, it is so super easy to sun stress. So in just a couple weeks under a grow light or some um, direct sun it'll get a nice nice color and it's super easy to grow uh, it's pretty much it's a fast grower and it's very tolerant to neglect the leaves are semi succulent um, very similar to Hoya marillii uh, but it does have some differences I'm not really sure if eventually it's going to be put in the marillii complex but um, yeah, definitely a beautiful Hoya. And here I have the green uh, Hoya Waliniana. It's also a very easy stressor. Uh, it gets red pretty easy. I don't even have this one or in the grow lights. It just gets a little bit of sun in a greenhouse. And it has a peduncle here. It's boom. The, I've had other plants of Waliniana boom for me in the past. It's pretty easy to bloom. So, but you can see even a small starter plant of this Hoya will bloom for you. And there's a Hoya that I actually don't know much about. Uh, this hybrid, it's called Hoya L. I suspect it has some Lacrinosa in it. Um, but it's actually a really thick leaf. Uh, the leaves are kind of small, about an inch. And they're kind of very uh, different in texture from Lacanosa or from Rebecca. Um, the bloom, it bloomed for me for the first time. It does remind you of Lacanosa, but the scent is totally different. I, I can't even describe it. It's not as sweet as Lacanosa or Croniana or Rebecca or any of those. Uh, but I really like its growth pattern and the thickness and hardiness of the leaves. So again, if you know anything about this hybrid, please comment below. And that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I usually upload a video every Sunday. I apologize for not having one last week. Uh, but from now on, I'm going to really try to do it every Sunday. And uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, and I wish you a very happy new year with lots of pleasant uh, experiences. And I hope you come back next week when I upload a new video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.